In the heart of the impenetrable Burmese jungle, on a strip of land squeezed between Thailand and the sea, the Karen people have been fighting the longest war of liberation in modern history, a war that's lasted for 60 years. The Karen are one of the main ethnic groups of Burma. Since 1949, they've been at war with the country's military regime, fighting against its oppression and violence in a struggle for freedom and self-government. The KNU is the Karen National Union, the political movement that represents several million Karen and that controls the guerrilla movement. The new head of the KNU is a woman, 40 years of age, gentle and courageous. She's a former school teacher by the name of Zifara Singh. We have been suffering from the oppressions of the Burmese military regimes, and we are fighting for our freedom and self-determination. We do not have uh, enjoy our rights. We are continually uh, oppressed by the Burmese military regime. So this is where we started our struggle. Yeah, in that, uh, we need to do both uh, armed struggle as well as the non-violence uh, because uh, for the armed struggle it's only for our self-defense. <laughs> when they came to the villages, they burnt down uh, the villagers and they burnt down their house, they destroyed their food and they destroy their orchards, and they kill the people. Burma's military regime has kept Nobel Peace Prize winner Aung San Suu Kyi under arrest for the past 12 years. The regime is also accused of war crimes and of crimes against humanity. Korean people are very peaceful people. They like a peaceful life, and they also do not want uh, like conflicts, uh, they do not, they are loyal to each other and also they are uh, hospitality and they are strong in a community. The Karen living in the Kola, the green land, have created a parallel state with its own health infrastructure. In order to treat insidious jungle illnesses, they've organized so-called backpacks, nurses who move continuously from one isolated village to the next. They've set up mobile clinics, tiny health care centers, managed by medics and specialized nurses. The lives of hundreds of Karen are saved in these clinics every day. When villages come under attack by government troops, the medics, assisted by the people of the village, move their meager equipment and medicine to safe areas. As a child, I do not have a lot of like uh, enjoying my 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 life as a child because we all always had to move from one place to another place, and uh, we even uh, don't have. A, pr a proper land and a proper house for us like to enjoy our lives even when we were a child and until now.
We already have formed uh, our alliance, uh, the KNU form alliance that we call the uh, NDF, the uh, Ethnic Nationality Front of Democracy. And uh, this is the uh, ethnic organization where we have the armed struggle and have the same goal of the fighting uh, against the military regimes. In a secret place in the jungle, the Karen have set up a school for guerrilla officials. This is the main training center for the National Liberation Army. In this school, there are many young people who are part of the vast Burmese Liberation Front. The Karen aren't the only ones fighting against the military regime. Many other members of the 300 ethnic groups in the country have also organized themselves into resistance armies. The Karen guerrillas have very few weapons and their equipment is modest. These youngsters content themselves with eating a single bowl of rice flavored with a few jungle roots, and yet they're extremely determined and proud to be among those chosen to be trained to defend their people. We work for, uh, to, for peace and we want to see the Burma has to uh, be changed and the, the, the policy of the military regime has to be changed into democracy. So this is where we know that we need international community to work, to cooperate uh, with our struggle and to support and to recognize the, our struggle. It was in this dense and dangerous jungle during the Second World War that the Japanese army learnt, to its cost, just how resourceful and courageous the Karen people are. For the past 60 years, the Karen have been fighting and hoping, fighting for their freedom and hoping that, sooner or later, Western democracies will remember them and come to their aid.